One Punch Man Season 1 Spoiler Free Review. Now, I'd like to start off by saying this review will have no spoilers in it. So, yeah, don't worry about that. So, yeah, first of all, uh, one thing you need to know about One Punch Man before going into it is that it has, it has a very simple formula to it. It's not, probably it's more formulaic than even Dragon Ball in some way. Okay, so, other than the main character, Saitama, who, of course, beats every enemy with one punch. That is the premise of the theory. He is the most powerful character in the theory, starting in episode one. He defeats every opponent in one punch, no matter what. And the theory is mostly about him trying to find an opponent that can make him actually try in combat. He is fast, strong, and pretty much unbeatable. His punch can change the environment. He, that's how powerful this man is. So what I want to talk about is the formula. The formula is very simple. In the One Punch Man world, there is something called the Heroes Association. Without giving away any more spoilers about that, there are heroes in the Hero Association. The heroes will show up and fight and fight the bad guy. They show up, they beat the bad guy up, maybe they cut him up with a sword. Like they're good wood. Maybe somebody will like cut him with a sword. Who knows? But, not fun. <laughs> no, but what happens is, is that they fight him, they fight the bad guy, they, 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 they lose, or they wear him down, but then he transforms or something. Like, Thomas shows up, and one punch! And he one punches the guy. One Punch Man is filled with references to other theories. I'll tell you what a couple of them are, and you can guess. I'll just tell you what, the, what it references, and you can guess what it is exactly referencing. I'll name two of them. It references, uh, Dragon Ball and Attack on Titan. Tell me in the comments if you've seen it, if you know what character I'm talking about. But if you haven't seen it, I think you know, don't say that. Don't tell them. Don't forget what I just said. Don't tell me in the comments. Yeah, that's a spoiler for the people who have not seen it. But it's very formulaic. And Saitama, the main character, is the most powerful character in the verse. So I know you're probably thinking, if the main character can be every, every enemy in one punch, where's the fun in it? Well, let me tell you, it is animated by Madhouse. So when he one punches something, it looks like a work of art. In fact, I would I would go further to say it, Attack on Titan One Punch Man looks better than Attack on Titan in terms of animation and art. Also, the art in this is great. Like Saitama has like his normal like derp face. He had like it like nobody cares. I'm bored, Faye. And he had this really bad ass like I'm going to kick your fucking ass, Faye. Really, really, really good stuff. Really good stuff. It's a great. It's a, it is a great theory. Now one flaw in it though is that you always know that Tom is going to win, as I've said. But it get it looks so good. It looks so good, and it's so hype. Yeah, the things he does, the same accomplishments he has without spoiling anything, the things he'll one punch are sometimes so mind blowing. Like sometimes you're like, if Saitama can 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 he do it? Like it, it the threat will get bigger and bigger every time. And there are times where we're like, can Saitama do this? Is it you no? Know, this, this is too much for Saitama, and then he just like one punch. And in this beautiful godlike animation, Saitama comes out on top. Saitama is just that amazing. And by the way, Saitama the character is amazing. He does not care. Like, because he's so powerful, it isn't like Dragon Ball where Goku fights a weaker opponent. Saitama knows he's going to win 100%. Even in something like Dragon Ball or One Piece, it's kind of like, for example, if you saw One Piece Heart of Gold, when uh, the, the little girl took Luffy hostage, it's kind of like that. Like, Saitama is casual about everything. His motto is actually, I'm a guy who's a hero for fun. And yes, I am wearing pants. No, but he's a hero for fun. And he just, it's a great theory. It really is. Some people have gone so far to call it the perfect anime. I think it was Dino Rhyme Style who said that. Link to his video on this in the description. I disagree with that. I think there are some problems with One Punch Man. I feel like one of them is, of course, that you know what's going to happen. 
So the climber knowing what's going to happen, yeah, I mean, I can't pick out any fog with it. This, it's hilarious. I have laughed hysterically. I, I've fallen out of my chair laughing while, while watching this series. I have. Uh, it, the, the fight scenes are great. There are two fight scenes. I'm not going to tell you what they are. There are two fight scenes in this series that are god Two fight scenes. Not, that, 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 that's one fight scene. It's two. But there are two fight scenes in this series that are amazing. Both of them are actual fight scenes, and they're both great. I'm not going to tell you whether or not it's Saitama's fight or one of the other characters, but it is amazing. There are amazing fight scenes. So the fight scenes are great. The animation is great. The art is great. The comedy is great. The voice acting. Don't even get me started on the voice acting. It is amazing. Very good. Just like My Hero Academia, which I will be doing a My Hero Academia Season 1 review. I know I'm really behind on that. I'm actually, as of the recording of this, which is on September 5th, on the, as of September 5th, I'm in the process of trying to catch up to the manga. The thing is, I actually want to buy the manga volume, and I'll read them, like, when I had time during school, maybe on, like, car, in the car, on car rides. And maybe I'll read some during like lunch in school or during like free periods. So I'll read them and I'll catch up. So I'm gonna take my time catching up to my hero. But I will be doing a season one review. And just, I plan on doing more things like this. Like, I don't watch a lot of anime at once. But when I do see an anime that I feel like is worth it, I will do a review of it. So if I had to rate One Punch Man, season one, I'll rate it a 9 out of. a 9 point. you know what, a 9.5 out of 10. 9.5 out of 10. It's nearly perfect. The only problem is that you pretty much know how each episode is going to end. You know Saitama is going to win half... 99% of the time you know Saitama is going to win. Although, if you do go and watch it after seeing this video, which I really hope you do, it is so worth it. Please check it out. But, if you do go and watch it, I will tell you to go read the manga. I had not done it. I've read some of the manga. The manga is pretty good. There's a, there's a webcomic and a manga. There's a whole thing. There's a whole story behind that. If you guys want me to, I can do a video explaining how the web, how, how One Punch Man went from the webcom, a webcomic to a manga to an anime. I would need to do some research, but if you guys want, I can do that. It would take a long time, though, because I'm starting school on the 8th. I'm probably already in school. By the time it's edited, edited, and on YouTube. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of One Punch Man Season 1. Um, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more videos. I do a lot of One Piece content. I do, I do a lot of One Piece content. I do some Dragon Ball content, not as much as I used to. I also do some Boruto. I also will be doing Naruto content when the Boruto manga starts having stuff to talk about. And that's it, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. It's One Piece Nation, signing out. Peace!